Hello guys, it's me Lunar. Welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. In this one, we have a new update to Red Dead and Red Dead Online, mostly fixes to improve stability and address some persistent bugs that have been causing players to be kicked from sessions, but there seems to be some changes as well players have noticed online, not mentioned in the patch note. We are going over them. If the video is helpful, a like is appreciated. The update is out now, it's around 1.3 gigabytes for both PS4 and Xbox One. We'll start then with a couple of fixes players have spotted, not mentioned in the patch notes. First of all, gang hideouts. A problem online where they were no longer spawning. If you actually cleared your cache settings on your console, you could get them back. But this update seems to have fixed the issue for most players. Cougars no longer seem to spawn in the same place now, which is probably because it was one of the best farming methods online for money at the minute. Farming cougars, especially around Blackwater, but now they no longer seem to be spawning there and you can no longer farm them. So that's quite a big one online. The challenge gold XP glitch, where as soon as you complete a challenge, you can exit the game and you can reset the challenge but still keep any gold nuggets or XP that you've earned, that seems to have been patched. So those are three big changes that are not mentioned in the patch notes that we have seen so far. I'm sure there will be other ones as we play the game over the next couple of days, but those are the major ones that have been spotted so far. All right, let's look on to the patch notes and we'll start with the story mode bug fixes. Fixed an issue where the players could become stuck at 90% when loading an autosave made immediately after the mission, Country Pursuits. Fixed an issue where the player could become stuck at 90% when loading an autosave made immediately after the mission, Country Pursuit, if it was the only open mission. Fixed an issue where players could become stuck on loading screen when trying to restart the game after completing the mission, Country Pursuits. Fixed issues with players becoming stuck at 90% when loading a save in Chapter 2 if they had had the camp set near Horseshoe Overlook after completing the first Shall Be Last mission. Fixed an issue where players could become stuck at 90% when loading after loading an autosave or manual save. And finally, fixed an issue where players could lose access to all weapons and equipment and a weapon wheel after completing a mission replay in Guarma. So those are all the story mode mission fixes. We'll move on to online then. There have been some general stability improvements and there has been a little bit of an improvement, especially in towns and cities, because of that. Fix the issue with players removing an injured horse from the stables without healing it would result in the scrawny nag appearing when whistling for your horse. A big problem for many players. Keep in mind guys that if your horse is injured and you don't go to the stables to get your horse out, then you will still call scrawny nag. You can go into your menu though and you can select your stables and pay the vet fees to get your horse to heal while you're out in the wilderness and you can get your horse back that way. So this was never really an issue if you know how to do that. Fixed an issue where players could not exit the house in the mission Love and Honor. Fixed an issue where players would be unable to load beyond 90% in the Red Dead Online beta unless they entered story mode first. Fixed an issue where players could become stuck on a black screen after a posse leader quit the lobby in the mission Love and Honor. Fixed an issue where players could crash on the Xbox home screen when resuming from a suspended state after Xbox Live services disconnected. Finally, fixed an issue where players could be kicked from the Rockstar game servers with an error after completing part two of the mission honor among horse thieves. And that guys seems to be all of the changes in this not so very big update for Red Dead and Red Dead Online. Last week we did have over 100 bug fixes in this one, we didn't have quite as many, which was to be expected. Tons of stuff is still to be added to the game that's available in story mode that we don't have online, most of which will eventually make its way into the game, but of course this is the beta, and in this time they'll be finding bugs and issues and fixing them, rather than adding new content, and there are still quite a few big bugs that are plaguing the game that we can expect first before we see any big major changes to the game I'd expect. But let me know what you want to see added to the game most, I think what I've seen private servers, poker, that kind of thing is some of the most requested stuff. And also what are some of the biggest issues that you are still having in game after this update. Subscribe with notifications on to see more Red Dead news and updates as they release. Plus I have more Red Dead online videos I'm working on right now. Enjoy the rest of your day guys and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.